Red candle drama. Tell me about it, right? It's the FUD cycle, friends. Whenever there are green candles, the dopamine is pumping everywhere through your brain. Everybody feels smarter. They want to learn more things. They want to want to discover what the hell is going on, huh? Why is this thing going up? Why is it going up? They want to go learn curiosity. And when it's going down, everyone's like, ah, oh, it's time to fight. And all the clashing of the clubs and the swords. But what I've noticed is every time there's red candles... It seems to be just like this, this orb of floating <laughs> pieces of FUD. And this like evil dark hand will just reach in to the orb and pull out a FUD and go, aha, we're rolling with the, yes, it's this coin community going down. Or it's, it's a tether FUD. No, 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 it's the fake World War Three FUD. It's, it's crazy, man. Is it because it's in our lexicons we respond to that? I don't know. Is it in our minds? I've even witnessed it with Pulse Chain. So that's why I'm going to tell you uh, this story about what's going on. You're going to find the fascinating. I actually, actually made this picture, friends. Put my heart and soul into this, okay? The Pulse Chain FUD cycle. And it started with Richard Hartford last year, right? It was, it was just Richard Hartford. Now, <laughs> I'm just... The original FUD, friends, is... The original FUD, it came from, come from Bitcoin. Of course, FUD is uh, fear, uncertainty, down. And in Bitcoin, there was always that FUD. By the way, Mt. Gox was one of those, like, dark labels inside that orb. It was the Mt. Gox FUD, right? <laughs> and, like, finally, we're actually going to, like, wipe it away. But I think we're just going to introduce a new one. I don't know why. There's always, like, this certain number of fees. I don't know why it's like that. And it's just interesting to study why do we do that. Now, I'm going to play some pump music because I want you to know that these, these FUD pieces, friends, are very bullish. I can't tell you how bullish it is. It's literally, it's your lifeblood, your lifeblood itself. The fact that they exist means you're going up. At the end of every cycle, there's no FUD. You can't even think about the orb. You can't think about the FUD. There is no FUD cycle. Like, what FUD? What FUD? We are literally the brave hearts. We've marched in, defeated the other army. There's nothing to worry about. That's actually the top. You've run out of buyers because everybody's now in. It's been fun to watch the pulse chain FUD cycle. It rotated from each coin to the next. One by one, everyone got it. It's a standard part of the cycle. When red candles appear, meaning lack of demand, the fangs and the tang come out. And then it moves on. Survive. So it started off with the Richard Hart coins, right? Richard Hart's core coins, you know. Pulse, Pulse X, E Hex, P Hex, Inc. And then I noticed after everybody had like been done with that, this was at the end of 2023, they moved on to the sacrifice projects, like liquid loans and the other sacrifice projects, and their charts are just like all really down. Okay, and I actually have it here. And obviously when it happened, you don't think anything of it. You never think, like, it's, it's hard to, like, look at this, friends, uh, unless you have the benefit of hindsight. Because as it's happening, like, you don't know that the Richard Hart fight is done now. You think that it's going to come back next. You don't know there's, like, this rot rotating orb of, like, this, and his hand's going to, no, I'm picking this thing next, and then we're going to move to this. Okay? It, remember, it, it all comes from the, the theory. No, no, the theory. It happens in, in, in Bitcoin You've got tether FUD. There was always like tethers, tethers of Ponzi going to go down, right? And then you had the Mount Gox FUD. There's all these other FUDs, right? There's all these constant streams. Oh, there's, there's, there's another one. There's the quantum computing FUD, right? It's like every 12 months, someone makes a new breakthrough in quant quantum computing, and it's going to take on the Bitcoin network. Everything's going to go down. Uh, there's all, and there's always the... Uh, the Bitcoin miners spiral FUD, where miners have to, everybody has to keep infinitely selling Bitcoin to cover their cost, and it just keeps going down to zero. It's just, it's just, it's like it's it's interesting. It's interesting, and why it's more interesting is Pulse Chain's a new ecosystem. Yet we got the same thing. I've noticed, like, wait, it's happening again. It's literally happening again, which is good. After. We moved from the sacrifice projects like liquid loans. And remember, friends, what, why is the FUD there? I mean, like, I can show you the charts, but, man, the charts 
<clears throat> they, they don't really tell you the the full story. The full story is it's that everybody just came in euphoria. So this is liquid loans. This is on a three day chart. You know, same thing. Yeah, you're down 80, 90%, whatever. Put on the PLS ratio. This is, yeah, it's tough, man. It went down below. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Wow, against PLS, it is down 93%. <clears throat> also that market cap, yeah, a lot of the coins are locked up. I mean, like I know a lot of people want to get angry fenced. Man, they, they raised $50 million, man. Whoa, that is huge. So when you raise in euphoria, it means you buy in euphoria. You buy in euphoria, not everyone can win. You attracted too many weak hand non-believers. It's it, man. It's just a sad state of affairs. That's what it's, okay? It just takes time. It takes time to rent out. I hope everything works out again. But, um, yeah, it's not everyone, anyone's fault in particular, man. I guess, like, if, if it's the fault of anybody, it's, everybody's at fault together. It's like, you know, we wanted to party when it was exciting, we wanted to raise money when it was most optimal, but you know, and then end up raising high for everyone. And yeah, it's just it's nothing you can avoid. Okay, you can't avoid it, but you just you have to learn for the future, especially in 2025, as we move on through the bull market. <coughs> don't don't buy into projects when there's the billion dollar raise indicator flipping. That's one of my key indicators, right? I remember I've added it. I've added it for you, friends. And I'm wearing a Pikachu hat. You're very, very welcome. So Yes, one of my X factor exotic signals if, is when you start to see these billion dollar raises. That's, you know, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble for the cycle. Next part of the cycle, right, is all these altcoin altcoin communities, okay? And I, I don't I don't know why, it just they move from one to the next. One to the next, okay? It's just it's fascinating. Um, and I can even like tell you, right? Like I, I have the stories here written here for you. So I, mean, I, I can't, luckily I'm here 18 hours a day, man. Like friends, this is just, if you hop onto Twitter and you speak to anybody from each community, it's always the same story. It's my community is the best. All yours are going to zero. You're all scammers. <clears throat> Everyone's like that. And you know, some people, they think it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, man. You want that. You want strength, man. That's why you bet on all of them. You bet on all of them. Because you have to think like me. I'm telling you, if you're in Richard Hart ecosystem, your exposure, you are long. First, you're long the Ethereum ETF. Spiritually and financially, you're leverage on Ethereum. We know that, okay? I've been telling you that for a long time. So we're leverage on Ethereum. been telling you that for a year. Well, what are you actually doing? You're front running people who probably come from Coinbase Exchange, the 100 million customers who have not used on-chain, now they're in Coinbase. They're swapping their Bitcoin into base chain shit coins, okay? And those things are flying up. And, you know, maybe more bridges and stuff get built out later on. And, you know, if we could either do cross-chain liquidity linking or people just, it's put, there's more exchange support for Pulse Chain. And maybe Richard Hart comes back and people just want to participate. So all those new people come into crypto, they're looking for homes to go everywhere. What we're doing is we're front-running them. You're here to be early, okay? And they come in. They might come in the ecosystem. And look, remember I told you the mantra or the war cry of this cycle is believe. You've got to believe in something. Well, man, you know Richard Hart believes in real DeFi principles. Like it literally, look at the websites. The websites, you can, down, you can download the freaking website. You know what I mean? No one else lets you do that. So from IPFS stuff. So, you know, believe in freedom of speech, freedom of movement, these real DeFi principles. Whether you believe in them or not, it doesn't really matter. Believe in something. That's what the mantra is. Believe in freaking something. If you don't believe in anything, you're going to lose. Now, this is where <laughs> this is where the fun part comes. Okay, I've been here every minute, friends. And let me tell you something. In 2023, the FUD was all around Richard Hart and his lack of Pulse Chain and Pulse X updates, especially the price performance of Hex. Down 98%. Wrecked. Okay. But then something happened, okay? We moved into 2024, January. The FUD moved to sacrifice projects, right? As I just mentioned to you. F uh, fame, Mintra, Liquid Loans, everything else. Because then they just raised too much. Just, this is the product market fit narrative that consumers want. It shifted to meme coins. It just shifted to fair distribution, throw out the coins everywhere. We'll make, we'll make the communities ourselves. That's what it shifted to, okay? That stuff. Enormous price collapses, mostly because people bought into them during euphoria. Okay, so here's Ralph Riggum. This is, <coughs> is, in, is uh, enjoying some taste of that pulse chain. 
Then, this is what happened. In February, the FUD moved to hexy bastard coins because he was partying in Dubai around the world. And this was, friends, this was literally, okay, this was him during last year. So this is, he's in, look, Dubai, partying in Dubai. I've been to Dubai for a little over a week now. So he goes and parties to any of these other places, but he had been there. But the FUD, this is interesting, he was partying before, but the FUD during that time was Richard Hart coins. It was only later on that, like, it's kind of like, okay, who are we going to come, you know, the invisible hand, that dark evil force hand, like, ah, oh, the FUD hand. Who are we going to come uh, pick on? Okay, it was Hexy Bastard, right? So that was happening. And I have it here. Nine Inch was viewed as abandoned. So Nine Inch is the other, one of the other alternative exchanges on Pulse Chain, okay? So you have Nine Inch, you have Nine Millimeter, right, uh, with Pulse X. And I specifically remember as well during this time, I was telling everyone, look, I'm DCA buying stuff like, you know, for example, Poor Pleb, which I'll show you, friends, uh, Poor Pleb. So during this time, and everyone was considering it. So obviously it's still down here, but check it on the ratio price. It's come back down to the zone, right? But it's around here. It's starting around here. So you can see this first life back comes back. Okay, now obviously we come back down just because the ecosystem's come back down. But People were selling here, why? Because they think it's a full abandonment. I go, no, it's not abandonment. And like, by the way, it's not like he disappeared anyway. He just, he, he had a stream like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. But if you just check the comments, everyone's like, he's abandoned. He's partying with everyone's money in Dubai. So it was just that other coins were moving. p dye stuff was moving, Atropa, Ecosystem, Teddy Bear, Tangang stuff, HOA was moving up. Okay, then they hadn't launched Dick with Button stuff yet, but just HOA moving up. So it was like them two in favor and like nine inch hexy bastard coins were like out of favor, right? Uh, Gophers had already had just launched as well. So Gophers was in the spotlight. And it was just interesting to watch that. So I didn't make anything of it, but I was telling everyone, I go, well, uh, <clears throat> I think this FUD cycle is going to move on and he's going to make a return. He's going to make a return. So how I view it, friends, is I see it as a list and like, we only have attention to the top two and then everyone else is like out of favor. And then eventually the attention in the top two kind of like starts to fade down in rank. And, it's, and the guy who's like last, it's like, well, they just got to show up again and they just like take the spot again. It's almost like if Dipcatcher just makes more releases now and the Gophers community, we're like, wow, we're still here. Remember those guys? Now, you can't, you can't take this for granted because um, we're lucky, friends. We're lucky. We are... <laughs> As the Pulse Chain ecosystem expands and you're front-running all these other people in the future, when they come in, the number of things on the item list, the number of ecosystems and altcoin communities, uh, you're not going to only have like six to choose from. It's going to blow up to like 26 and then it's going to be like nearly impossible. Right now, we're lucky. There's only like five, six, seven, eight. You just get all of them. Pretty easy, right? Just expose yourself to all of them and we're done. But we're lucky because the ecosystem is small. You go on Soilana land, there, firstly, there is no community. It's literally just, it's 48,000 Jeet coins made every 15 seconds. There is, it's just like one bun, one giant orgy of just sweaty dudes on a boat trapped together, right? Not a girl in sight. Um, and even on Ethereum, it's tough. There's all these other communities. So as you get bigger, there's the problem. That's, that's the, the, the issue that everyone runs into, right? After that, right, this is what happens, yeah? We had Richard Hart EHEX FUD. So EHEX, right, the price got butchered. And it still sits down there today. Since his tweets, PHEX also dropped a minus 81%. So there was no escaping that round. So Richard Hart is like, you, you are no longer my child. <laughs> it just blows the head off, off EHEX, right? And <laughs> I have this picture of just the gophers there. So gophers with the PRC 404 stuff. So it was... It was in favor, and then like it just starts dissipating down, and just and it just takes everything just takes turns, right? This is spotlight. Um, I've mentioned here, right? By that point, Gophers had launched and did well, but then, right, they tried to move to Soilana, and I made a joke. I'm like, hey, I think we're causing the top of Soilana like right now. <laughs> we're just gonna try and launch at Soilana, and it did. It did. It did launch at the high 200 bucks straight down. Oh, that was hilarious, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> Not the cycle top though. Mid-cycle correction top. Um, <clears throat> I've got this here. Gophers FUD is slowly dissipating. So it is, all right? It is. So what ends up happening is, see, this is, man, we're just humans, how we work. We're just, like, so predictable in our chaos. It's like everyone's hating Tang Gang now. 
Everyone's hating the Tang Gang. Because, oh, you criticize Richard Hart. You're not allowed to criticize the guy with coins that are down 99%. That's what they sound like. That's what they sound like to everyone else, right? Now, what I think is going to happen next is those people, right, they're looking at the Tang Gang, and then they're going to choose, like, wait a minute. The Gophers, guys, they've been building the whole time. They're still committed. I'm going to latch onto that. And then they go into favor. And then Tang Gang drips down with a trope and it them just for whatever FUD. See, it's, it doesn't even matter what these fans is like. It's just attention fades away and we make up the reason. That's it. Okay. You can't give maximum attention to everything. You're limited with your time. Um, this was also funny. After that came B Roots coin FUD. So this is interesting. There was, there's always a group of people who uh, they're always shitting, they're always uh, showing B Roots' collage of all these coins he like talks about, and they're just like the drop down, right? Just the, they're, they're always there. He blocks all of them, so they, they always just reply to him in the comment section. So, so he doesn't do that anymore. But um, whenever I post, I've always checked the bomb. There's always someone out there who goes, "Hey, remember this?" You can actually still look it up, right? But during this period, I remember as we're moving throughout the year, the next part of the fud cycle, right? So you can actually see like the list here, friends. We're going. We're going, um, we're going just like down this list, right? So you're just going down this list. It's interesting. Uh, with the Bay Ridge Fud Fuss, uh, the, there was this, yeah, one little area of time where it just, it just went hard. It just went full on hard. And it was just like people just spamming it, bang, 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 bang. Um, and it just goes away. It just, it just goes away into something else. I'm wondering if it might come up again. Maybe because his coin, maybe because the coins go down. But everything, all the coins down the same ratio, man. You know what I found interesting, friends? Um, uh, because I'm here 18 hours a day, I, friends, I could, I could literally see all 300 coins. And I'm like, oh, out of 300 coins, all 300 coins are down 50, 60, 70, or 80%. Like, it's literally all the same. All of them the same. Yeah, what I'll find is the our attention span to hate on something, it focuses on, like, just a few things. So right now it's Tangang. Like, ah, Tangang coins down this much. I'm like, bro, there's, like, 18 coins, the exact same thing. And I never ask, like, why are you doing that? You always know why. It's just, it's, it is what it is. It's that invisible hand. It's that invisible hand. It's working subconsciously. It's not that people are actively, hey, I just want to hate them. It's almost like there's a force behind what's going on in your sub, in your conscious mind that's making everyone think like this. Could be like a a mass psychosis as well, okay? Uh, just, it's, it's interesting. So I even mentioned here, right? So B Roots, moving on from them, when I mentioned many people would start tweeting collage images of his coin history showing the classic pump and dump pattern. And then it just dissipates. That's just interesting. Like, oh, we're gone. No, and then something else appears. What do we move on to, right? This is funny. We even saw a Tropa ecosystem FUD when they found random Maria combos where he just throws out the word, the N-word everywhere. Now, this was, this was, man, I can't tell you. This was the funniest thing. Do you want to know why? Because obviously I love a Tropa ecosystem. I'm in the Eutropa ecosystem and I think it's great. So it's, it's, the, it's the first building block for Pulse Chain, where you're like, oh, this is big. It's the first big idea on Pulse Chain, all right? And I was always thinking, I'm like, all right, there's gonna, I know there's gonna be a FUD round. What's gonna be the FUD round, okay? And but here's the thing, friends. My biggest fear is that, like, the dev sells. Okay, that's my biggest fear. Because that FUD, oh, that's hard, man. Like, see, Richard Hart, he can talk shit about Ehex, but that's, that's him talking shit. Who cares? People flap their lips all day, okay? But Richard Hart clicking sell with the origin address, <laughs> completely different story, right? You felt that too. So I'm always scared about that. There is always like that 1% or 5% chance someone that you think only has that low odds of ever clicking sell that they actually do it. But it happens out there, right? So I'm just trying to be realistic with you. Now, with Atroba Ecosystem and Maria, I remember when he's like, oh, he's doxed himself now and he's coming to like talk to everyone. I'll, I'll, as soon as he doxed himself, friends, and this is what it was like. Okay, so as soon as Maria, <laughs> as soon as he talks to himself, I looked at him and I was like, please don't have a shady past. Please don't have a shady past. Like I was really, I was praying. I was praying. I was like, oh, please. I don't want to see some girl like me to you or just someone just dig something up. Oh my God. You just, you just never know. It's so uncertain, right? <laughs> and then somehow... I don't know. I don't know how you even access this. Some, they go to the, the chat, the, the chat thing of how it works. There's a deep underground chat. 
the coding thing. It's like it's like looking into the matrix. There's all these texts going on, and then, <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> they just they just spamming the n word just in different place. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Oh man, I'm, I feel like I'm dying on this. I'm just, I got, I got tears of laughter. I can't believe it. I was like, I'm just fans. I'm just like, I'm just looking up at God. I'm like, really, really, of all the things, that's the fud round. We got. Ah, oh, this guy just threw the N word into his coding stuff, man. Oh man, I love his all. This is, this is hilarious. It was, it was like, you've seen everything in this game, but tell me, crypto is the greatest freaking game on earth. How the hell are you meant to like teach a university group? You're like, all right, you might buy a coin. <laughs> Future finance. You found out the uh, the dev just dropped some n bombs <laughs> all over the code. Hey, how the hell are you going to price that into your model? Where is your Metcalf's law of growth rate, cash flow? How the hell do you price that in? Oh, man, that explains just cryptos. Green, red, green, red, green, red. Oh, man, it's, it's nuts. All right. Following from a trope, all right, we had Sota. So Sota introduces himself into the ecosystem. He's like a short-term trader guy, and he amasses a big following. At Feds. I'm... All right, man. I love all the content creators in in Pulse Chain. All right, whether they hate me or not, I, I don't care. Okay, I'm just telling you because I want what's best for the community and everyone else. Okay, just telling you now, man. Don't suck off short term traders, friends. I did it my whole life, man. They they're not wealthy. You understand? It's a job. It's a job. Okay, I had to go from short term trading. I actually had to learn, all right, who actually runs everything? Who's actually the wealthiest? I had to see it myself and learn. Now you can actually see it on chain, okay? When you learn about the money printing and the global liquidity index. So look, everyone has their own talents. I understand that. But yeah, he comes in, right? He just starts drawing red candle TA downwards for PDI and other ecosystem coins. So this was just hilarious. So remember, you have PDI, Atropa, Teddy Bear, and all the other coins in the Atropa ecosystem, but... Um, it, was, it was just like, it was every day, like it was, it, was, it was just waking up. Okay, so this is the three-day chart. It's not using this. Let's go to a four-hour chart. It was just, you could just see, right, just like, like, like straight here, straight here. It's like every day it was like, uh, <laughs> we're going red, we're going red, we're going red, red, see, red, 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 just red, red, red. It's just like, oh, uh, man, we've been through this whole thing, friends. Of course, there's, it's always red on short terms. It's always red. Put it on a weekly. All right, put on a weekly. Look at the pulse ratio, okay, and then get a bigger perspective. There you go. It's in a dip zone. It's in a dip zone. That's it. There's just one move down. But I, I get it. I get it. Everyone needs to, you. What need to micromanage? Even though you know you shouldn't. And so he's always tweeting like, "Ah, oh, this thing's about to get ritualized." And it's just funny. I was like, "Oh," and then that adds to the fud. It's like part of the fud is like, "Oh, not the end bombs." Now, so to think it's going down, like, bro, it's the same, it's the same chart everywhere. Then the FUD, right? Remember the FUD? It's like a spotlight. It's literally, it's like a Godzilla with like just, he's got high beams for eyes and he's just looking in the city and just moving around, just spotlight searching. Aha, who's it going to be now? They're going to find someone, right? Now the FUD is on Tangang. And I've explained here, Tangang coins are in cheap zones doing minus 70% and everyone is yelling at them for being too tangy. And, you know, Tangang coins, for example, dick with butt. This is, what is it from? 70%. It's the same thing as everything else, Fred. 60, 70, 80%. You know how small they are, man. It's so easy for them to go up 60% on DWB PLS. But it's Tangang. So a lot of people, ah, uh, man, I get it, friends. I get it. You, it's 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 a double-edged sword. It's like, yeah, it's a paradox of crypto. It's like you don't want anyone to care, but you need everybody to care, yeah? Because you need everybody to care because you want them to defend their bags, right? In, in, in Pulse Chain, that's what I mean. I, don't, I never come out and say, hey, everybody, stop fighting these guys. No, nah, screw them. Throw it out there. <laughs> Even for me, throw it out there. I don't care. Throw it out there. Let it out. Okay, we'll let it out. Now, why, why, why? It's because this is the game, man. This is what you want. It's a new system. You want people 
to like have this energy about it. You want them to do that because the opposite of that is you're just a little noodle arm pleb and you're useless. You don't, you don't believe in anything. If you just don't believe in anything, you're just an empty shell. No one cares. You don't even care. So the more people are coming out and attacking, and I've already made videos to tell you, like, by the way, every time you make a four page essay about why the Tang gang sucks, just telling you like, bro, you literally, you just gave them the mushroom from Super Mario right now. Like they literally just leveled up because now when the coins turn around with everything else, like you have freedom of peach, okay? Still in this deep zone, okay? 80% down on um, USD, check the PLS ratio, it's around here. Once these things, friends, they just round off. It's just, it's free accumulation, free accumulation because they're still the zeitgeist of everyone, okay? Now, I'm not saying these things will definitely recover. I don't know, we don't know. They could all go down to zero, man, we don't know, okay? But historically, that's how things have come back. They've come back because not, that, see friends, this is the thing you gotta know about markets. You can't avoid FUD. FUD is guaranteed, right? You will get bad times. You will get red candles. It's programmed. Demand comes in, demand comes out. That's it. What is not guaranteed though, okay, so is if you survive the FUD. And all you got to do is stick together. Are you going anywhere tomorrow? No. Are you going to like log off Twitter and then delete everything tomorrow? No. Okay, sweet. You're staying in. That's it. That's what you need them to do. You need them to do that, friends. And then the money printer comes back on. Then Bitcoin goes up. Ethereum goes up. People just have money to splash around. They want, hey, look at those people. They're making noise. Trust me, when candles are going up, man, that people don't have a memory of three months ago. They don't. Okay. So that's why it's funny all the Tang Gang FUD comes out now. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's your turn. It's your turn. And like, who's everybody? Who was everybody hating just before? Okay. They, everybody's hated Gophers for a long while. Maybe Gophers comes around and, and switches up. You don't know though, okay? So trying to pick the next one, literally nearly impossible. That's why I've always told you, just look for cheap prices, that's it. You see a cheap price, you get in. So think about it, right? If you just bought cheap prices last year, think about Soilana and Hex, for example. You're like, all right, uh, I buy cheap prices. You say that to yourself. See, you didn't know Soilana was gonna be the unicorn winner. You didn't, but you just, you know, just prices were cheap. Now you've, now you've learned something for the next cycle. Problem though is, right? Uh, along Soilana, there were like 30 other layer one chain coins that are also cheap that haven't gone up. Yes. So you've also learned something there too. It's not like, oh, wow, I've got to There's only two coins to choose from. There isn't, bro. There's like, there's 122 coins to choose from. We just have survivorship bias and like a winner's, a, a recency bias on the one that went up. So not pretending anything is definitely going to go up. It'll be easy, but I'm just telling you, you buy cheap prices, you win. That's it. You buy low. Okay, and you have the, you stack your key competitive edges, going on chain, active community, key information asymmetry, and looking for devs, okay, dev activity, that's it. Here I even explain, what comes next? Well, everything in Pulse chain has come to a halt due to Pulse the spear being down 91% versus ETH. In the end, you'll see this FUD moves in cycles. It will move on to something else later. But first, we need prices to go up. Most likely, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Maybe Pulse and PulseX will go up enough to boost the ecosystem and the altcoins will reprice. So yes, to let you know from my key information that I've already made for you, um, before this drop, so at the highs of these altcoin PLS ratios, so you know they're down 70%, right? Um, at Even at the highs, the altcoins on Pulse chain were undervalued by minimum 3x versus Pulse, which is freaking huge, okay? That's Teddy Bear. That was the biggest meme coin, by the way, at the top. So everything is like undervalued 5 to 10x versus Pulse. That was, the okay, let's let's use a conservative number. Let's just say like it's like 10x from, from here because you're down a 3. You're down 3 from the top. You know, there's a 3x to get back to around to the top and then another 3 on there and yeah, 9 or 10x versus Pulse. That is huge because... If you're doing, say, 9x on Pulse and Pulse is doing a 10x from here, you're going to get a 90 in the big one. That's huge. And like some of you think, okay, what if Pulse does 100x? Well, yeah, some coins are going to do a 900 to 1000x. They are, friends. They are. Not all of them, but some of them will, right? So you just get to see they were undervalued before. Now they're even more undervalued. But when do they really wake up? Probably all the exchange listings, okay? These things only are nicely, fairly priced on, say, Soilana. There's a lot of eyeballs on there. 
And you can work out, say, dog with hats ratio to the market cap of Solana, and you can use that same ratio on Pulse Chain. I ended up doing that. That's why in one of my videos I did that. Found that, oh, well, they're all cheap as shit. They're all cheap as stuff. Just the market doesn't really, it's inefficient. Friends. These things take time because it's just so new. No one has all these exposure to it. Remember, the market has given a 1% uh, chance of survival to Hex and Pulse Chain. 1%. I don't think it's one percent, man. Look, we're not going away. What do you think? We're, we think we're gonna like be more quiet in the bull market because everyone went nuts. Pulsex was still on the day one sack. Look how nuts everybody was going in January and February of this year. Look at the altcoin ecosystems that flourished up. The spear coins are down like trash, and all these altcoins and communities popped up. You have you also have the influencer coins, you know, like Randy's coin, Nerb, and SolidX and stuff. So, and you have the Gray's currency, Alien coin. So. This is amazing stuff happening because at least we know, okay, these are the cities we can identify them, you know. The difficult part will be maybe roll this forward 12 months, someone new is going to join in. They'll be probably believing in a super cycle. And they're like, okay, who do I buy? There's not just six communities now. Now there are 26. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know either. You see, we are in a lucky spot right now. And remember, man, it's this, this, this pulse chain FUD cycle. It's just crazy to see it. It literally is crazy to see. And eventually we get over the altcoin FUD and we just move on to something else later on. It just does this whirlwind. And that's just the natural part of it. But you just have to you have to dominate it. How do you dominate it? Just understand, right? You just keep holding. This is the price you pay. You have to absorb this information every day if you hear every day. Uh, it'd be nice if we could just teleport into the future, but we'll see about that, right? Do you really want to teleport into the future, friends? I mean, bull market, this euphoria is here and over in like 50 to 100 days. We'll see. Make sure you like, subscribe, bitty button, or catch the next one.